Hi guys, this is Jeff with Valley Fish. Uh, it's been a long overdue video. Um, got a package in today. Already opened it. Uh oh, you'll have to stick around see what happened. But, um, been on Instagram. Uh, Mossy Jake had posted that he had some extra plants. So I said, hey, send them over. Uh, you know, send them a little bit of money. Got a whole bunch of plants. Uh, well worth it. I was kind of like, how is this going to turn out? So we're doing the intro afterwards, but you'll be excited to watch, I hope. But anyways, we're going to run around, put them in their tanks. You'll see what I got. You have to stay tuned. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So let's get into it. Like I said, it was 31 degrees when I got home at midday. So this will be the last package that I'm going to order for the year. So hopefully it turned out good. We'll see. Definitely did a nice job boxing it up. Look at that. Got a little insulation for it. So that's really good. Makes me a little more confident that this is going to work out really well. Yeah, this stuff is super sticky. Uh, how many did I, I think I'm supposed to get five crips, so there that is. Like that package. Rascal's gonna be shaking the camera. Come on, no. No. Go. Go. He just came in. He's gonna be super fuzzy. You'll probably hear him whining if you haven't already. Looks like we got the uh, wet paper towel. Slightly moist. Never had this crypt, so I'm really excited. Hopefully they do well. Oh yeah. So, I definitely got more than 10 because just in the front view, there's 10 and it's that deep. So, I uh, couldn't be happier. Got bundles and bundles and bundles and they got all kinds of new growth coming off of them. So I'll divide this up into multiple tanks. That's awesome. It's really good. Slightly dried out, but that's fine. That's what happens when you ship them that way. Uh, probably lose all the leaves and it'll bounce back. And maybe it won't. Uh, maybe they'll hold on. They look really good. When I say they're dry, they're, they've just been out of the water. They're still... Uh, whatever the word is. Uh, movable. I was curious when you get something from another hobbyist because huh. you never know when you might find a uh, another plant you know a little uh, freebie so I was just kind of looking there's a whole bunch of new growth right down at the bottom you never know when something else is gonna pop up so that's super cool I'm gonna roll these guys up just to keep them damp um, got to figure out where we're going might do a little uh, planning, that'd be fun. And we'll get to it. Okay, so I want to make a correction. I think a few times I had said that I was supposed to receive 10 plants uh, from uh, Mossy Jake. Um, that's that's wrong. I had uh, only ordered five from him when I said, you know, I think I, I think they were two bucks a piece and I sent him 10 bucks and I said, uh, you know, just send me ten dollars worth assuming I get around five plants so that's why I was super surprised when I got a whole clump because I was only expecting five so and you can see from that I'm actually broke down and seen how many I got but definitely more than five so that's why I was a little surprised just for clarifying I didn't order ten order five so uh, I got so many I have no idea what I'm gonna do with so we're gonna throw up a few containers um, And we'll just place them randomly throughout a few tanks uh, Hopefully they go in all the tanks, right? But um, that way Some tanks have got a lot better lighting than others. So this one for example is the 75 super high depth Or super deep water level where else is gonna get us so you're gonna see some shakiness But the water level here is really really deep for what I have. I have a an old T12 from like a 10 gallon or something on this one right now. 
Uh, you can actually see it is growing two live plants along with the fake plant is actually doing really really well um, Saying I'm a lot, but this is a uh, Luguigia Whatever, but it's growing. I was curious so I just threw some in there. I did the little pots too. They got actually ADA soil in there, but it's actually growing away from the light growing out towards the uh, light of the living room which is a little weird, but it is alive in there. So what I'll do is I still got the dirted pot that we did from the summer's video. I'm gonna throw some in there and put some in this tank just cause uh, I got so many extras. And then, okay, slide. This uh, 10 hex right here. Again, I have pots just holding plants. Uh, we'll drop up pot in there and get that going you can see it's my buddy rascal he's a good dogger all right so he's gonna help us we'll uh probably throw some in the garfield tank and if you haven't seen the garfield tank it's a little tank that i got oh man i think the japan blue 29 will get some and maybe my overly crowded 20 long because i'm not sure if his water was hard or soft i might throw some in there so then between the two i have two in soft water and two in hard water so uh, my water is normally hard but for a few tanks i do have rodi so we'll get a, a little variety on where they're going don't not 100 sure i'll do an update but maybe we will down the road but uh, this, if you remember, was the tank that I got, like, 90 fry or something off of, uh, um, what do you call it, Facebook? Last time I've been on Facebook, and I think first time I've ever been on Facebook, so. Got on there, found something I had to have, and, uh, bought fish and haven't been back, because that's a dangerous game. It's like getting on Aquabit, so. Well, uh, well, while we're here, we'll check out these guys and give you an update. I'm sure a few of you are curious, so we'll get to it. Okay, so what we're going to do, I got a little bit of the water from the tank that most of these are going to go in. Slide. Like I said, this is still wet, which is good. There's that mystery plant. And my five crypts. So we'll get rid of this. We're done with that. Um, get these wet. So, really got two big groups. And I got, let's see, I got one, two, three, four places I want it to go. That two. So, I really need three containers. So, this is going to work out. So, I got the big pot. This will be one. We're going to get real fancy, a little clear plastic cup, and put a rock in there to add a little weight, and then I got this little clear plastic one. I like doing pots just on tanks that uh, have a strong future of getting broke down in uh, the near future. So what we'll do here will be different, we'll just do this one first. So we'll break it down into four clumps. So this big one, divided and this one divided there okay so the number one will get one clump like i said this is a dirty little pot this was from the outside we'll do Broke it up a little bit. Tuck these roots down in there. We'll see, and hopefully it gets enough light and it spreads back out. Okay, so there's one. So these two pots. Okay, I'm running out of battery. These two pots, I've had this bag of ADA soil for like two years 
so it's got plenty of not so beneficial bacteria in it. A little rock to add some weight. So I don't know if that plastic cup's going to want to float. Which that will be a big bummer if it does. Never really thought about that till now. I always like glass, but currently I have a glassware. So there's that. So off camera, because you guys ain't going to get to see it, we are going to take these over to the sink, dump out the liquid that has that supposedly beneficial bacteria. We know it's two years old, um, like I said, so I'll dump it out, rinse it, just get that stuff, you know, nice and clean. So I'm going to pause and we'll be back. Alright, and we're back. Other than now, I gotta wipe a whole bunch of ADA out of my sink because that didn't go over well. Definitely don't try and dump it. Uh, just let the cup overflow with really low flow. Um, let's see, next. So these two are pretty large. They'll go to Garfield. These ones. This will be one container. So they're going to be super crowded, but they'll be fine. Actually, I'm just going to drop these in a different tank. Uh, we'll go one down here, one there. So the tank's in the background. You're going to see. You won't see, but there'll be one of those plants in each of those. Uh, not going to be able to probably get all this because my phone wants to die. But, you'll get the idea. Biggest thing is just get a shout out to uh, Mossy Jake on Instagram. Check him out if you haven't already. Because the uh, next time I'm looking for something, I'm going to have to check him out. That's awesome. We said those are going over to Garfield. And these ones will go in the Japan Blue. because I don't want these guys to dry out we're gonna be real quick about this I'm gonna be a little sloppy video here we go I'm gonna spin you around and you can watch the old plunk slowly going in so this is exactly right where the uh, the aqua clear hits. You can see there was a little divot in the gravel. Just like that, professionally aquascaped. I know I said we would give an update on these guys so here it is now that I've stirred up all their water and the water levels low you can see that they have turned from fry to really really awesome looking Moscow's you can see there's some blue shimmer to them there's some purple shimmer to them really liking them what I need to do on this tank is go through and uh, pick the best females and just start over. Uh, they're all good, but I want that, you know, excellent line. And there's some females that, you know, don't have dorsal color or really weak tail color. Not a lot, but a few. So I'll probably pick the very best few females and we'll start over with that tank. But that'll be another day. So there's your update. And now we're going to jump over to the Japan Blue Tank. So hold on. Okay, nothing fancy about this one either. Uh, this tank has random pots in it, but hopefully it doesn't flow it out.
and it's pretty far away from the light but I have this light offset in this tank we'll jump back give you a real quick view but there's the new pot and if you follow my Instagram you remember I was just pulling out all kinds of hair algae that was from right here and that was like a month ago and I got almost none so all I did is took the, uh, the timer one click down couple extra water changes we're back in business and here's a whole bunch of jungle valve it's actually jumping out runners like crazy uh, this is that Lugigia Arcarada whatever yeah, I love that it's the best looking one I uh, got a 2.0 light on this tank but I got the blue gravel that everybody hates but I kind of like it and anyways just got some pots some other random little crypts. Uh, I think this is the uh, Wendetti Eye or something. The bronze. Horrible with names. This is the Wendetti Eye that I just got. So the Amazon sword trying to grow and blue gravel not doing so well. But, anyways, see if we can catch one of these guys on camera. Hmm. I've been really picking out all the males that uh, have little imperfections just trying to work on this line and I'm not gonna be able to pick up on any really nice female it's not showing up now but look like her tail's yellow but it's actually blue there is fish in here I'm oh, sorry I couldn't catch any on camera but uh you can see there's just a whole bunch of females on this line any of the males with imperfections i take them out and take them into the local fish store so there's all kinds of fry in here but like i said battery's running low so really bad update and here we are over here okay guys so <laughs> minus the 5% battery or whatever we're down to the once we jumped over to this tank I didn't have enough memory space to keep recording so this plant of course jumped out of course it would on a time crunch alright Okay, hopefully it's in there well enough it'll stay. If, alright, I don't know if it recorded any of that, but you hopefully seen a uh, plant getting installed, repotted. It looks like it could be a little deeper. I'm sure it'll pop up in the next few days, but I'll have to redo that one. But that's where that one's going to hang out. Okay, guys. So somehow we went through this entire video and I never actually told you what I got which kind of makes sense as how random and you know fast paced and it was just kind of a horrible video all the way through I'm sure but we ended up getting five plus a few when dead and I when dead I I'll throw it up crypts this is gonna stay uh, reddish brown a little narrower leaf and it just looks awesome so gonna try it in a bunch of different waters and we'll see how well it turns out okay i want to say thanks to those that reached out there's a few people that said hey we haven't seen any videos from you in, in a month so uh, i have been slacking but uh took on a new position at work so that's great a uh, little swamp there trying to get adjusted to that and it's winter time coming so everything you're trying to do at the end of the year is just kind of adding to it so videos 
uh, for the next few weeks will probably be pretty slow and this one I'm trying to throw together right at the end uh, hoping it comes out decent enough I can uh, post it so here we go two more tanks to go thanks for watching so this is my soft water tank got some shrimps in it kitty likes to lay on it because it's nice and hot this is Spooker he made the video so this one is super overcrowded um best looking one right here planted uh, we'll come back to that at a later time jump over let you see so we just tossed it in let it float right there reason uh, I just did that is you can see I need to do a trim this tank is just overwhelmed with plants so jump down do the front view um somewhere in here i will have to find room for a crib but might have to do some trimming for that to work out so that's why we just did the old plop on this one and we'll come back to it at a later date but we'll stick it in there somewhere all right here we are last tank uh really apologize if this is absolutely a horrible video but this is where I spend all my time watching your guys' videos. Got my little Garfield tank propped up here. Got that for $7 at an auction. Um, currently don't have anything in it, but a few plants. It's got the old corkscrew light bulb in it. Uh, these things look teeny in this container, and then you go to stick them in a little two and a half gallon like that, and they're gonna look huge. Um, mystery plant that I didn't know what it was. We'll, we'll throw that in there too. Why not? It looked like it was like a bacopa or something, but I'm sure he has something way more fancier than that. I usually don't have an idea what some of those fancy plants are called, but anyways, this is where I spend most of my time. Like I say, you can see you got the old uh, drive through cup. Um, love your guys' videos. Keep making them okay so there's gonna be horrible reflection but i gotta use the phone light to plant this plant because once you pull garfield's head off you lose your light so okay guys so the phone finally died i had to wait till i could get enough charge anyway so we are at the garfield tank and once you remove garfield's head it goes dark because the light bulb's in the inside so it makes for feeding and for planting not very enjoyable but i was able to get enough charge on the phone that we could video it and we could capture a little bit of the planting action i thought i dropped two in here I did. But basically just needed the light so I could see what I was doing. Can't see what I'm doing. Come on. Ah, looks like it's shoved in there good enough. Substrate's not very deep in this one, so even if you buried it, it's pretty much, there's hardly anything. We'll uh, put Garfield back together, and we will see what we see. Looks like we got one right there. And the other one shoved under this lava rock right there. So, fun, fun. Alright guys, so we just got done running around trying to find a place for all them plants. I uh, would like to just sit back in my easy chair and stare at my favorite tanks, but uh, unfortunately I got more stuff to be doing. So, I'm sure this is going to be one of those, why'd you post that video? But, uh, uh, shout out to you Mark, I always give you a hard time for not cleaning your glass and 
I didn't clean any glass. I didn't do any water changes. So hopefully uh, the video that is there is the least viewable because it's kind of a last minute. Wasn't planning on making a video. You guys would say, hey, where you been for a month? So, uh, you know, the quick and dirty version of uh, what's going on in my aquatic hobby. I will... It'll probably take me about three weeks, but um, I'm hoping we can get back into the, you know, every other week that I was doing. Um, definitely haven't gave up, just been swamped. So, uh, thanks for the made it this far, um, and appreciate it. Uh, definitely check out um, Mossy Jake on Instagram, and I uh, would highly recommend him. So, you've seen uh, how he hooked me up. So, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks, Jake. So, appreciate it.